Hi, welcome back. So I'm going to go through how to make bullet points in your, um, <clears throat> on your work schedule or class schedule or mostly um, any next thing you want to do. So there's two ways you can do it. Mostly I know one. But the thing is that we're going to go here, text, we're going to add, add two headings. Um, I'm going to add this here. List B. Okay, so we're gonna double click that. Oh, sometimes it works. So when you double click, it will actually fit itself in. So we have list A and list B. Okay, now we're gonna add a bit of body and see it probably there automatically. And so you see bulletin point here. Sometimes it doesn't come automatically, though, trust me. Then you see the list. And then instantaneously you can decide if the list should be a number or it should just be a point. Let me see if it works. So I would say agree. Right. Because I think it's built into the algorithm already to say. Um, let's just say that it's a list. So that's why I say something that works for me. Sometimes it doesn't. So I'm really low right here. Okay, so that's mostly it. Beforehand, it wasn't so because then you would have to go to another. Um, what's it gonna? You have to go to PowerPoint on your Windows or your um, <clears throat> Google. And create a PowerPoint. All right, so we're going to remove this for the time being. Wait, let's see. And also, you can number it and only can, yes, I can remove it. So, first time, your word will be bulleted with a particular circle. The only one you can do. Second time, it'll be a number. All right, and the third time, you remove it. So, instantaneously, it's a disagree. It's close. Let's just say for a thing. A list. Okay. I was not thinking of a grocery list, but that's going to take some time. And then the third time, yes, you know, have the effect of it. All right. So with list two as well, you can also this part. We're going to do old fashioned way because this wasn't existing before. Oh, sometimes it adds. Yes, it's an automatic thing. Okay, so you're going to add, then I'm going to do grocery store green vegetable. For example. It was a double click sometimes I fit it, but it seemed not to be. Because as well too with um Canva, you sometimes do this. Well um, when it's a square, they tend to put the body at the bottom to make it easier, like a footer. Okay. So, we're going to do old-fashioned. We're going to a circle, shrink it down to a tiny, tiny little circle. As you can see here, let's zoom in some more. Okay, we we'll press the space bar. Okay, space bar is not working. So, I'm going to try and move it over some more. Hold up. Oh, thank you. Okay, what just happened? I must have actually pressed the button. Oops. I'm going to my previous works here. Okay, so you can see a tiny little button, drag it over here. You want to make it all fancy and stuff. And then you go here to the square and click black. That's a color if it's there. Or if you want to make it red, you go back to the square and get red. Or if you want to make it green, you will go here in the green section because these are the default colors. Or you can make your own version of green. And there you go. So if you say, hey, I want to make a star, too, so as well, okay. The thing about it is that they don't really tell you the size, per se. Oh, my time is almost up. But, hold on one minute. All right, I'm back. So now you can see you have green vegetable and red vegetable. So, we'll see. Oh, I'm going to see Mr. Sir, so you can see better. And then you have now two variations of how to make a bulletin point. When I make it fancy, you can always take one of the pictures and also, as well, shrink it down to the size of the bulletin points.